Hi guys and girls, AJ here, and I'm just gonna do a quick video on my five favorite apps for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Um, I just thought I'd like to share that with you guys. Thank you, cheers. So here we are, so my favorite apps on the iPhone, the ones that I use the most at the moment are one of these, uh, Maloco. So Maloco is, as you know, themes. I've done a video on this already, um, but it is pretty good. They're updating new ones all the time. Um, and you basically just use these on your phone. So at the moment I've got one uh, that I've set up. That's a really uh, where is it? I can't remember now. But yeah, so these are good. Um, that one there, yeah, Lumi. So I've got Lumi still at the moment, which I like, I love, um, which is really good. For some reason, Amazon's not working on a lot of these. So I don't know if it's because they're either from America or which or what, I don't know. Um, I think some of these people as well are from Europe. Something there that's wrong, maybe doesn't link with English links, I don't know, I'm not too sure. Uh, but that's a bit of a pain. But this is really good, it's easy to do. You can open and it basically shows you how to, step one, download the pack, install the theme. Let's go and customize. And then you've got all the themes here. Um, if you want to send some money, a little tip, send them a tip there. Um, and you can submit your themes. If you do your own themes, I haven't got a computer, um, maybe I could try on an iPad and see how that goes. Um, that would be pretty cool and uh, you can take it from there maybe, I don't know. But yeah, I would like to do something like that, be able to do something pretty cool like that and let my friends see what I can do. But yeah, so that's Maloco, you can find them on the App Store. And also what do you think about this app? Well, I always give a thumbs up to most of the apps that I download because otherwise, why would I download it? I must like it. I'm downloading it, obviously. But yeah, so that's Maloco for you. Any questions? They've got a Twitter account as well, which I've never actually needed. At the top, you've got your trending. There's some lovely ones here. So these are the most popular ones. But yeah, so that is Maloco. So the second app that I use is TubeBuddy. So TubeBuddy is a pretty good one as well. Let's give you your stats. Not big time stats. Um, there's certain things that doesn't give you, like obviously YouTube does, um, Studio as well. This gives you basically the stats. So how many YouTubers subscribe you've got for the day. Um, and then it updates how many have seen each video so far today. In the last well whenever you last updated it so at the bottom you've got the videos you've got your comments you've got your milestones so i've got 28,868 to go to get to 45,000 views in two years so it doesn't sound a lot some of the, most of the ones that i subscribe to probably get 45,000 views in a, in a few hours it's taken me two years but i just keep plodding on and i'll get there eventually um so four to go, 90 on the uploads, and four to go for 75 subscribers. And we've got news, we've got news there all about stuff. Most of it's about other companies, TikTok and Snapchat. And then obviously you've got your, your tag explorer. So you can have some usual tags that you store in there. Like if you do different things, different, um, for your YouTube channel, like I do for iPhone, so I can put tags in there for iPhone, another tag in there for Apple Watches, that sort of thing. Um, topic planner, canned responses, so you can have responses already filled out that you might want to just automatically you can send without having to type it every time. So it could be like, thank you uh, very much for your feedback or, or whatever. You've got the community there, you've got their channel, so you can view that on YouTube feedback back to 
obviously tube buddy if there's any problems and you're signing out so that's my my favorite one i'm on the premium account which is like i think it's two pound or two pound 99 a month which i think is very cheap and i think it's a fair price to give me the information that i want i don't really want a lot of you know, analytics every day and stuff like that you know what is the point um i don't need all that i don't need to know when i'm going to get paid because i don't get paid because you've got to have thousands and thousands of hours of view in a, a yearly period and that's not going to happen i don't think anytime soon for me so that's chew buddy that's a, a favorite one of mine so my third favorite app is inshot so inshot is a, an editor as you can see there these are my youtube edit channels intro make and stuff but this is inshot so I use this one every day for my videos. So you can you can edit photos, make collages. Again, this is a subscription. So now I've got an unlimited lifetime subscription, which was £33, I think it was. Um, but that's a lifetime package, so I get any up, up, you know, any new uploads. Um, you know, I can I can then use those. So here's a here's a video that I did previously um, with Kevin. Or he did for me so we've got little things here that you can add blank video video photos you can go into canvas so if you're doing a video say maybe and you want to put it onto Instagram you can go into their format where they have this horrible thing around the edges and you've got YouTube which I think pretty much is the same anyway TikTok um, Apple different ones there and you've got three by four, four by three, two by three, three by two, two by one, and one by two. Then you've got zoom, so you can zoom it in and out. You've got background, so you can change background themes, you've got colors and stuff as well. You can change that, so you can have it all different things going to your pictures, your photos, all that sort of stuff. That's that. Then you've got music. So there's different types of music you can use. You go into tracks. And you've got all of these on here. So I have used a few of these. You can then go into iTunes. So I've got all these ones here. But you know, with this you've got to be careful because this is a bit of a danger zone. Um, you've got to have permission basically from these uh, companies. If you don't, then, then that's not going to be good for you. Um, and then you've got effects. So you've got popular ones here that make different noises. Which I've never actually used. I did actually have one little funny video that... City ones. Anyway, so that's that. Um, you get rid of that. Right, so you come out of that. You can record as well. Then you've got stickers. So you've got different types of stickers. So you've got your GIF, GIF ones. Ones that I normally use, that you'll see in my videos. We've got here um, trending, so they're popular ones they've got at the moment. You can search as well, with different types of arrows. So if you wanted to point at something in your video, you could do that. Uh, a new post, so you could put that, shrink it down, put that there. So you click, and you accept that, and that will go on for a little bit. And come off you can actually extend how long you want that to to be in the video as well so you can put it at the end of the clip you can put it throughout the whole video if you wanted to um, then you've got your text you can write text put that there see again so like I did there you can extend that um, as well you've got filters so all different types of filter you can change the color 
adjust that and flap about. So that's all good. We've got picture in picture, so like the new thing that you get for, uh, for iOS 14 now, you can have picture in picture, um, which is quite good. Um, one that I use quite often is if I'm watching football on my phone. Um, and we've got a group on there, Liverpool group, and they follow, you know, and we could be typing while the match is on, so I can be watching the match at the same time on my phone, as well as while I'm typing and texting, so we're not missing anything, which I think is a brilliant idea, and I think it's way overdue that Apple did that. It's really good that they have. So that's a, a really good one to have. Um, and then obviously you can cut bits out, you can split. So here, for instance, split that, and then I can delete that and put it to the end. There we go. So that is InShot. Let's just look at another couple of features they've got. So they've got these sort of bits. You could add a picture around your face, fireworks, happiness, love, birthdays. So you've got different birthday ones that you could add into to there. See, they're already all installed because we've got the premium account. Got some silly cats and dogs. Um, so they're animated ones, so they move to how you want them. But that's in shot. Um, that's a good one. I like that indeed. So my fourth one is Intro Maker. So Intro Maker is obviously, as it says, intro. Uh, get rid of that. So this again, I've got another lifetime VIP one, which was actually quite cheap. I think it was like, I can't remember now, 11 pound or something. Um, so you can go down to your works, different ones that you've got here. Um, you've got templates, you've got loads of different templates that you can use as well. Um, and it shows you on here how to do um, your intros to add them to YouTube through your phone. So you don't need a computer, you don't need an iPad, you can do it through your phone. And I think that is blissful because I don't have a Mac. I do, but it's a very old Mac. I think it's 2000 and... 2007, nine? I don't know, it's very old anyway. Um, and it's not brilliant, it's very slow. It'd take me hours to work on it. But you could do something like this, put your title, and that could be the beginning you know because it's intro um, but then you have your particle your glitches your logos you've got like YouTube one here so you've got different ones for YouTube you could use which is pretty cool some of those so what we've got here yeah. it's a good idea isn't it? never thought of this one so yeah so you've got all these bits here, intros and thanks for watchings and stuff, which is pretty cool. To get a little preview. Looks more like Dungeons and Dragons or something, isn't it? Street Fighter maybe. Yeah, so you get the gist. So you've got different ones up here that you can pick. Might be easy. So you've got outro, which is at the end of the, the thing. So when you do these ones, you see you do it through another app that I'll show you in a second. So this is one that I use. And then what they do is, is, and so what you have is you, when you click onto it, um, to do an end video, that's what you want to look for. So that'll be on your second page once you've uploaded the video, and then you would click on, on, on that piece, and it selects. You can either select the latest video, um, or a specific video that maybe goes with this video type of thing um, so basically you're sort of showing off the, the, the picture the video that you did last or some time back and it basically automatically would click that link so when someone clicks on it it will actually go to that and you'll have your picture here so if someone clicked on that one it would then go to my YouTube profile and come up for more information on there my social media links and, and stuff like that um, so it's really cool um, and like I say it shows you how to do that and let's see if I can find that so yeah so here's a video tutorials that show you how it's done so 
three steps to make an intro, how to make and upload outro end screen. Okay, so that's what you would need. And this app is really good for that sort of stuff. There are lots of other apps out there. Um, but I prefer to use this one because it's, it's just really easy. But that's my other app that I liked. So my final app that I use the most is YouTube Studio. So this is the one that's sort of like the standard one, um, but it's not, for some reason, it's not, um, it is good. Um, the weird thing is that what I talk about now is, <clears throat> so when you go into this and you wanna select a picture, so you click on this bit and then it'll ask you what picture do you want to put. Um, so what people see on your YouTube channel. Now, it doesn't seem to matter what size, file size it is, it accepts it. But when you go into um, YouTube and do it through that, which you'd have to do through Chrome because otherwise you can't get the picture to stay properly. Um, and for you to edit it easily, it will only allow you to have up to two megabytes for the picture. But with this, YouTube Studio, it doesn't seem to matter. I mean, this this picture here, when I try to do it through the um, through the edit through the through YouTube on my phone, I think this was like 2.8 megabytes, so it was no good. So I went through this route. The studio itself app and it worked easily so it's a bit bit bizarre a bit weird how that tends to work but um but yeah so that's that's pretty good um and then you can go to your video and to analytics so here 25 views in the last 48 hours this is the last video that i did um which is not bad. I mean, as you can see, my revenue is far, far away, but never mind. who cares? And then you've got, it tells you about traffic sources. So where, for instance, your traffic source has come from. So browse features, other YouTube features. So it could be like, your comes up on the maybe recommended list and people have clicked on from that. Notifications. So some people that subscribe to me Get a notification of when I've uploaded a video so that's where that comes from channel pages so again when people are searching and they got and they type in something um, and my video may come up there with a load of others and then there's other ways as well so that's that um, yeah so you've got different ones you obviously got your revenue which really doesn't matter to me because I'm um, millions of miles away. Discovery, again, is sort of similar. Um, then you've got, for instance, where people have been watching. So this time round for this video is 70% in the United Kingdom. Um, then you've got interaction content. So teaser clicks per card teaser shown. Oh, I probably, don't, probably didn't even use one of those. Um, but there you go. So that's what you got. So you got watch time in 28 minutes. Sorry, watch time in 28 days in minutes. 5,100 views. 3,300. Yeah, it'd be so nice if these people would actually subscribe. Um, it's not difficult. Just click, and away you go. And then you've got the different videos that I've done. So it says there like 30 have been viewed. 10 six see what i mean so it's very sort of low compared to some thumbs up comments thumbs down i don't really get many thumbs down so that's good but that is my youtube studio um dashboard it comes up with all the videos um which is good to see that so that's all my videos there what's the most one that i've got here so Wrapping my iPhone 10 in an easy skin wrap. So that's the Army Camo one. It's got 9,546 views. Oh, it's got 12 dislikes. Oh, can't please them all. So I think that's my highest. 
Let's have a butcher's. Let's see. That's what we got. Oh no, we've got 11,234. So that's wrapping iPhone 11 Pro Max in the hexagon shape. So again, that was from Easy Skins. Well done, Easy Skins. Um, U Green PD fast charger and cable. 2,792. So yeah, not bad. That's pretty good for me, I suppose. Um, but yeah, so that is YouTube Studio. So that is actually linked, I think, to YouTube. That's their nice one there. It's got different playlists. Oh, no one's really bothered with them. No one's the analytics. So there you go. So that's my top five apps that I use very regularly and enjoy the most. The widgets are from Widgy. Ding ding. That's from Apple Stock. What else have we got? There we go. We've got Watch Buddy. Uh, so the one that does Watch Buddy, which is uh, AR. 720 I think it is he does the uh, wallpaper as well so you've got Apple here again that's Apple's one which is pretty interactive you've got Google you've got um, this is a different company this is not from Widgie this is from somewhere else which I'll put a link in the description and that is it guys and girls so there we go so that is my favorite iPhone 11 Pro Max apps and soon I'll be doing my favorite Apple Watch apps. So that'll be coming out soon as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.